Cells can divide, multiply, divide, multiply. They're trying to stop what's happening, so they keep on making more and more cells. And so that's why we're getting cancer. Now, doctors know that chemotherapy only works on one in four. Well, of course it works on one in four, because you've got four types of people. If we could synchronize the chemotherapy with the radiation that that organism requires, then it would be 100% effective. So that's how important it is. And if we look at the sunspot cycle every 11 and a half years, we know that influenza viruses mutate with the sunshine, just like the cold sore, just like the fertility and the hormones. And we know from uh, studies carried out in the UK in 1957 that flu is associated with schizophrenia. So we know the sun is affecting the birth at concept, at the organism at conception. That's affecting uh, the baby's brain, and that is resulting in schizophrenic behavior. So, of course, it's very important. Now, the, So we know the Mayas were very clever. The Mayas were also aware that we are very much more complex than how we appear to be. For example, we have four bodies, not, not one. We have the physical body, we have the intellectual body, the brain, and we have the emotional body, the heart, and we have the spiritual body, the aura around us. Now, about four weeks ago, I discovered how gravity works, and it's because of all this which gave me the insight to understand that. And, and Really, that came from understanding the difference between the spirit and the soul, which we'll come on to shortly. Now, the Mayas understood that Maya means illusion. It's an ancient Indian Sanskrit word that goes back 20,000 words. It means illusion, because they believe what we see is not what we see. Everything is inside out, back to front, and upside down. We think we see with our senses, but we don't. And... If we look at uh, the spiritual teachings, for example, what we're told is that God is light. God is electromagnetic energy. In the Bible, Genesis says God created light. But in the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu holy book, for example, it says God is light. The Buddhists believe Buddha was enlightened. He was light. So we don't have to start changing the rules. We don't have to think we're very clever. And in fact, if you think you're clever, you won't get any of this work into your heads at all. You have to stand back with humility and say, I'm completely stupid. And it's the only way we can make discoveries. <clears throat> and indeed, that was how I solved out the gravity enigma just a few weeks ago. And I'll be talking on gravity during this uh, symposium this week. Now, if we look at the scriptures again, the reason I got onto the spiritual aspect, by the way, was because when I started to decode the, the Mayan pictures, it all became quite clear what they were trying to tell us. If you remember earlier, there were two numbers, the sunspot cycle number and the number which was slightly bigger, the birth of Venus number. The sunspot cycle, just to go over it once more, was 1,366,040 days, but the Maya, which the Maya knew of because they put it into the sun shield. But they worshipped another number, and they documented it in the ancient bark books, the Dresden Codex, for example. And they referred to it as the birth of Venus. So I'm thinking at this stage, it's when Venus turned upside down, which is true, which is like every 3,740 years, one million days. But on the last page of the Bible... Jesus says in the book of Revelation, I, Jesus, am the bright and morning star. The bright star is the bright star at night in the dark sky. And the morning star is the morning star, which are both manifestations of the planet Venus. It's not a star, it's a planet. Sometimes, I've got some diagrams coming up in a minute. I'll go into that in more detail in just a few moments. Just getting back to God, what, what is God? God is electromagnetic energy, accept it. The Bible also says God made man in his own image. And it seems that God can do anything 
except grow, because mankind can't grow beyond a certain size. It might be 5 foot 10 inches tall, it might be 18 inches wide. But we can only grow to a certain limit. If we want to grow any further, we have to throw a piece of ourselves away and create a baby, then that grows. So the only no if an apple tree wants to grow, it has to throw an apple away. The only known mechanism in the physical world, which is where the physical body lives, is to throw, sacrifice a piece of ourselves, and we begin to grow. So God can do anything, it seems, except grow. Well, I was always taught that God was love and God was good, so the only thing better than God must be more God, but God can't grow. So that must be very frustrating for God. So I thought, well, how about if I was God and I threw a piece of myself away? How would that work? So, Hmm. <laughs> okay, I've got them. I was just looking for some blank. Uh, no, I haven't. Here's a, here's a half blank one. I'll use this one. Okay, okay. Let's say God in the, in the beginning is a thousand volts. Electromagnetic energy. God is like a thousand volts. So, he wants to grow, so he knows he has to throw some of himself away. So he throws 50 volts away. And he goes... <laughs> so what we find is E equals MC squared. <laughs> what we find is... Now, I know you don't like formulas. There's a little one. If you can't remember it, Einstein equals Morris Cottrell squared. <laughs> Okay. He's a lot smarter than I am. So, here we have a thousand volts, which is God. And God threw a piece of himself away, which went across the equation in the beginning. Now, whenever you go across an equation, if this is a thousand volts, and God throws away 50 volts, then this mass, this is a physical world, this is everything in the universe, the mass must be opposite what God was because it's gone across the equation. It's very simple. So it's minus m. And this is the speed of light squared, which is 300 million. That's a big number. So when you squash E, when you throw some E away, you get a big bang, which is the atom bomb. This is how the atom bomb works. Throw some energy away, squash all the atoms together. The bang you will get is 300 million times bigger than what you started with. And the mass, everything in the physical world, is opposite what God is. So what have we got in the physical world? Well, we've got overhead projectors, we've got cups, we've got shirts, we've got human beings. And we know everything in the physical world is opposite God. So if God is God, everything in the physical universe must be the devil. It must be. There are no other ways of looking at it. And this must be hell. And it is hell. And I'll prove it to you in the next few hours. <laughs> and this is why everything is illusion. Now what happens when, we sacrifice, when God sacrificed a piece of himself in the beginning here, we had the physical world is created. So we have light in the beginning. That light, the thousand volts, creates God. We get the big bang and we get the physical universe, which is the stars and the planets and everything else, are created. But we're not very bright. We're chimpanzees. And we've not got very much current flow going around the body and we haven't got very much of a brain intellectually. But with evolution and millions and thousands of years, we develop into ostensibly intelligent human beings and when our brain reaches a certain voltage we rip another piece of don't forget we are minus five volts my blood my heart is pumping the blood the blunt is developing voltages across all my neurons 
So 